With me, what you see is what you get. Well, that's with me as a person. On the other hand, if you're looking at my art, at my paintings, sculptures, if you're listening to my music or reading one of my books, what you see isn't necessarily what you get. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm really glad you came by here today because I think it's important to understand the difference between what you see and what you get. And you can find me over at Metaphysical Ministry International. And what is a metaphysical ministry? Well, it's all about the fact that definitely what you see is not all that you get because 99% plus of what exists in the world can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell it. We begin every week with a happy share. I have pretty phenomenal happy shares this week. I got to tell you more than one. I went out this week and I mowed my lawn. Now, because of the debilitating limitations from the nerve damage from the brain injury, I haven't been able to mow my lawn. I mean, really mow it in really well more than a year. So some of the grass and the weeds, they're actually two to three feet high. And I got them all. Not only did I get them all, but I also was able to clean all the pine needles off my deck. And I'm really straightening up my yard. This is huge for me because that kind of activity has been impossible for me to do ever since the nerves that were damaged took away a lot of my muscle control. So I'm just so ever, 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 ever so happy to share with you that by believing I can and intending I can, I'm just getting better and better every single day. Now then, going back to this woven scene, I'm actually going to come out of the picture so I can give you a really good explanation. So let's go ahead and start from the top because that's where the scene mainly is. What do you think it is? I know it's a little hard to tell looking through the camera. If you were here in person, you could see and feel the actual textures. It is woven. It is yarn. It has some angora in it to give it different kinds of textures. And what the scene actually looks like is a forest in the winter, snow covered, and a frozen waterfall. I'll show you the waterfall, okay? So there goes the waterfall. But here's my question to you. Can you see the textures in the leaves? This is a forest that's still fully leafed out. Now in the winter, generally, those are deciduous trees, you can tell by the trunks. Generally, those trees would have no leaves on them, yet here they are full, full, full of leaves and snow covered. So what does this work actually? This is what happened to me with the first brain injury when I worked as a psychotherapist in crisis care with dangerous people, one of whom cornered and attacked me. And because she was so enormous, I was really pinned in and I couldn't move until after she had just pummeled my head a number of times. And this is a picture of what happened for me. Here's your forest. And it's going along and everything's still green. It hasn't even turned to reds and yellows yet because it isn't even autumn. And out of nowhere comes this tremendous blizzard, this storm, this power that dumps heavy snow over all the trees and the ground and actually freezes that waterfall. You see, that's what happened to my life. That's a picture of the life I used to know 18 years ago before the attack. That's the life that I lived back then. And it's frozen in time in this piece of art because I haven't been that same person 
It's almost 18 years since the attack, and I never, ever return to who I used to be. And that's okay. Because you know what? I like who I get to become every day, even more. So I have this work that I can look at every day, and I can remember that's who I used to be. And I was adventurous, and I was powerful. But oh my goodness, who I am now is so much bigger. I'm playing a much bigger game and making a difference in thousands upon thousands upon thousands of life. That's something I could not do when I worked as a psychotherapist in a crisis care facility. What is it that you want to do with your life? What is it that's bigger and lets you play a bigger part in the community and in the world? Do you know what it is? If there's something we can do to help you, please go ahead and notice up at the top, there's a page that's hold the space for. Go ahead, let us know down in the comment area what it is that's a step that will take you toward living your desires, making them real. And I'll read them, I'll put them up on that page. You come back at least once a week, tell other people to do it too. And then all of us are holding a space, seeing you living the reality that you really wish to desire. You know, take the first step. Because when you do, the universe moves too. I really appreciate your click and like and share. And if you haven't done so already, if you put your name and address, your email address, of course, into that box over there, I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual I wish you a week filled, filled with love and many blessings.